Once upon a time, in the middle of a lively forest, an old man sat enjoying his lunch. Little did he know that his life was soon about to change. Heyo, I'm Wadaguma. Thanks for clicking on this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about Japanese media and culture. With that, let's start this week's folktale, The Tongue Cut Sparrow. A sparrow landed on the old man's shoulder. So he shared some of his rice ball with it. The sparrow liked the old man and followed him home. At his house, his wife was cooking. She trapped the bird to make sure it couldn't eat anything. But the old man let the bird out and gave it some food anyway. His wife was angry and told him that they were too poor to waste their food. The old man ignored her complaint and went out to work the next day like usual. Meanwhile, the wife stayed home with the sparrow. The sparrow found some of the rice cakes the wife was making and ate them all up. This made the old lady furious. She snatched the bird out of the air. Now that she had the sparrow, she could get her revenge. She pulled out some scissors and cut the sparrow's tongue. Then she let go, and the injured sparrow flew back into the mountains. When the old man returned home, his wife told him what happened. The old man couldn't believe it and felt terrible. He ran off into the mountains crying, calling out for the sparrow. He went deep into the bamboo forest and heard chirps coming from the distance. He followed them until he came across a small house. There to greet him was the sparrow he befriended before. The old man apologized for what his wife did and asked if the sparrow was okay. The sparrow explained that she was fine now and invited the man inside. Inside, there were even more sparrows. They were having a party with dancing and lively music. The man ate with the sparrows and had a wonderful time. When it was time for him to go, he thanked the sparrows for their kindness. Before he left though, the sparrows insisted that he take a gift. He could choose either a small box or a large box. The man thought for a moment and decided to take the small box because it would be easier to carry down the mountain. It was late when the man made it back home. He and his wife sat down to open the box together. Inside the box was gold and other treasures. The couple shouted with glee. In that moment, they were overjoyed. But soon, the wife had an idea. The next day, she would go to the sparrow's house and bring back the bigger box so they could have even more money. She searched and searched through the forest when she finally ran into the sparrow. The old woman pretended to be happy to see the sparrow and asked if it would forget about what happened with the scissors. The woman lied and told the sparrow that she had changed and would never do anything like that again. The sparrow agreed and brought out the two boxes. The woman quickly snatched the larger box and ran off without even saying thank you. On the way back, the woman got very tired because the box was so heavy. She set it down and decided to take some things out to make it lighter. But instead of gold and treasure, the only thing inside was monsters and scary spirits. The woman ran away terrified and screamed all the way home. When she made it back, her husband was very worried and asked her what happened. He gave her a hug to comfort her as she explained what she saw and that she learned her lesson. She apologized for being cruel to the sparrow and greedy with the treasure, and sincerely promised to change. The old man accepted her apology, and the two lived the rest of their lives happily ever after.